Welcome back, everyone. I, too, am wearing sexy boots this morning, 60 minutes before the hour. Remember when you were a kid and you spent all your time outdoors? Well, now it seems that a lot of kids are staying inside. They're playing video games. They're on the computer, watching TV. So how do you get them out of the house? Outdoor lifestyle expert Rebecca Cohen joined us live in studio this morning with the book, 365 Ways to Get Out of the House and Connect with Your Kiddos. That's so, right. Fantastic. So I was able to look through the book a little bit, and uh, I love it. There's so many ideas on this. And just getting them outside, for people who may not be aware of this, it does... It just does a load for them, I think, uh, as far as becoming friends with their brothers and sisters and just not being mean. Absolutely. You know, if we start with just 15 minutes outside every day, it keeps us active, healthy, and connected year-round as a family. You know, inside, my kids are bickering. I have two boys. Outside, they're best of friends. Why do you think that is? You know, I think the outdoors gives everyone space to be themselves. There's something for everyone outside. For my older son, he likes to engage in sports. For my younger son, he loves gardening and art, and he can do those things outside. And you can use your outside voices outside, too. <laughs> you can use your outside voices, and it's a stress relief valve for everybody in the family. So you not know, just for the kids, for the parents as well, this is a great thing. For the parents, thing. too, you know, and it helps us remind us, you know, the things that we love to do before we had kids and the things that we can still enjoy together. Okay, now you have a few ideas in this book, some great ones. Let's start at the end here, because I love this. My kids love tic-tac-toe. This is just doing it outside, exactly. right? Exactly. So here are a few ideas for my book, 15 Minutes Outside. The first is Nature Tic-Tac-Toe. I just took four twigs and my kids picked out some pieces of wood uh, you know leaf mulch and stones right. and they just take two different objects you know three or four of each and they can play the game instead of X's and O's very fun I like that okay next we got a book bag here a backpack What's this I this? call my outdoor to go kit it's okay. something that you keep by the door ready for a spontaneous adventure and then you're prepared at the same time so you've got you know a snack like pretzels a water bottle you've got their favorite ball maybe a frisbee you've got a magnifying glass there you know it just makes it easier to get outside I always love to keep a, a picnic blanket in the car too That's you know nice. for a spontaneous picnic dinner on the way home you know, run by the park. Can also be used as a 48-hour kit, too, I guess, huh? 48-hour <laughs> kit. You've got everything you need. Very good. Very good. Okay, next, it looks like s'mores to me. It is s'mores, but the best part about this is you don't need a campfire. They're called solar s'mores. So you take your graham crackers, your piece of chocolate, and your marshmallow, just a piece of aluminum foil, and you wrap it up. Do and I use it, this bad boy? You can use the magnifying glass. <laughs> wrap it up, stick it in the sun for 10 minutes. And what a cool it's lesson a on market. solar energy at the same time. Now and if you're fun. taking your walk, you can actually wrap it up in your backpack, and by the time you're ready for a snack, you'll have one there. See, they learned something along the way. How about that? Okay, what do we got here? It looks like uh, probably something for the birds. Something for the birds. Okay. So after we have our snack, we can have a snack for the birds. And this is a bagel bird feeder. This is just, you know, things that we have around in the house. You can use a bagel, piece of twine or string. You can use bird seed if you have it. If you don't, you can actually chop up apples or grapes, um, sunflower seeds, and we've just used some peanut butter here to spread on the bagel. If your kids are allergic to peanut butter, which some kids are these sure. days, you can use vegetable shortening. Oh, that's not a bad idea either. Okay, so really all this, and, and like I said, I was able to look through it. The great thing about it is it just gives people some simple ideas to get the kids out of the house, because sometimes we think, okay, we send them out, but what are we going to do with them? And that's what I love about this book. Absolutely. And a lot of parents are telling me now, you know, I thought, you know, how could, hard could it be to get outside? Right. But it's got an idea for every day of the year. So parents are loving how it's organized by month, by day. It's a great reference tool. Families are putting it at the supper table and looking at it every single day. Plus, you're a part of it. And you're not just throwing them out there to the wolves. They get to, uh, you know, actually have uh, some kind of idea what to do when they're out exactly. there. Exactly. And it's, it's a great way to stay connected as a family, have meaningful memories that yeah. you can really create every single day and we've got next to the book here that's 15 minutes outside we also have a set of Rebecca Plants curiosity cards oh, it's okay. a great companion tool to the book you can get them on RebeccaPlants.com and it's a set of 50 open-ended questions for fun time outside together Rebecca fantastic stuff again 15 minutes outside Rebecca good having you on great thanks, ideas thanks. thanks okay time right now is uh, what 12 minutes before the hour you can check out the book some bookstores right now we'll be back